All right, friends, let's get started. You know the drill. We are continuing Hobbit 2003 Game Boy Advance version, a game that is, at this point, boring but playable, <laughs> which is uh, the bar we are clearing with Tolkien-related. Can I drop this pot on this elf? No. This doesn't work by cartoon rules, except for where it does, but that's not a place where it does. You know... It's a disservice to elves how bad their AI is, um, uh, how clumsy they are as NPCs. Elves, the wisest and fairest of all of Tolkien's creatures, do not know how to walk around tables. Again, the elves do not notice just the floating pots being thrown towards them, and they don't hear Bilbo grunting as he's doing things. The wisest of all of Tolkien's creatures. I also just noticed there's a dwarf counter, so eventually my goal here is to free all the dwarfs, I'm presuming. <laughs> Which I literally just did in the forest with the spiders. We all know the elves keep their meat in chests. It is... It's, it's like the first note we read in the appendices. You found a magic music box. Play the music to lull dogs to sleep. Very specific, very direct. And meat. Wish I could just throw the meat to the dogs, but uh, this is not that kind of Sierra game. Music puts the dog to sleep, dog to sleep, dog to sleep. The elf doesn't notice the music even though elves have very good hearing. Okay, so I guess here I do need to sneak. I found a key ring. How did I get out of the empty cell I was in? Without keys is what I wish. Oh, <laughs> even hitting unsneak without moving had me banished back to this empty cell. But I've got keys now. The door seems to be blocked from the other side, so, uh... I have 50 keys now. 50 entire keys. Ooh, dwarves are following me now. Dwarves are following me. This must have been a strain on the program and to have dwarves following me. Was Bombor in a cell to himself? It's a good thing the Wood Elves keep me so well fed. Also, it's okay that this part is a little tedious, because, like, I think in the book, Bilbo's down here for, uh... I don't remember if it's full-on months, but it's for quite a while. Gandalf spoke through. My word is off to you, Mr. Baggins. What do we do now? Follow me! And only three dwarves left to find. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they do not show all eleven. Oh, eleven. Only two left to find. I knew we would never see all dwarves on screen at once. That was just not a thing that was going to happen. Okay, we'll sneaking work here. Nope. <laughs> Quick, follow me and we'll get you out of here. Is that it? Is this all 13? We did it. Oh, another dog I can't get past. Hold on. Where was the music box? I should leave this music box here, apparently. <laughs> He just immediately climbed in the barrel. Bilbo didn't have to devise the plan. The dwarves are just... Oh, and now I have to tediously put each one in a barrel one at a time. Great, this is a fun part to gamify. Before we go too much further with this, I'm going to uh, see if I can return the keys to the guard, only because that's what Bilbo does in the story. I can return the keys indeed. I don't know if that made any difference to do, but... Uh, I didn't have to push anything, it just automatically returned them. Anyway, back to you all getting in barrels one at a time. This is a little bit of a set-off payoff where uh, I used one of these buttons on a trapdoor uh, on a goblin earlier, and now I know how that mechanic works. And again, the dwarves are just way more gung-ho for this plan than uh, they should be. Also, I never explained the ring to them. <laughs> how many have I done so far? I don't know. This is... This is getting repetitive, but not frustrating the way uh, some of the others are. Some of the other Tolkien games have been. It's time to fill the barrels. It's time to drop them down. It's time to take the dwarves on a passage to Lake Town. It's time to escape the wood elves. It's time to do things right. It's time for a great adventure on the Hobbit show tonight. To burgle back our treasure. That's what you're here to do. And I don't know how to get down to that trapdoor with you. Is there anything I can push? Nope. Can I throw a rock at it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I can throw a rock at it. <laughs> I'll write this in my journal while I'm falling. Hey, it's that guy from earlier. 
that fake bombadil guy from like way back before the Misty Mountains. Hey, lad, will you chase my dog back around to my house? Must I? I don't have a music box to summon dogs anymore. I don't know how to get back around to your house, buddy. Much like the dwarves, the dog just moves at its own pace. Is this close enough? Thanks for finding my dog. Please take this jump rune as my thanks. You can now jump across wider spaces. Ooh, how wide? Can I jump across this river? Ooh, who's this? How gold will flow down from the mountain. Already heard about the prophecy, I guess. Not quite a uh, gold berry, so I guess the guy's not Bombadil. Let's see if I can make this jump. Nope. <laughs> I don't know how wide the spaces I can jump across are, but uh, not that wide. Can I jump across this wide a space? I can. Can I jump? Nope. Is there any point in jumping across that wide a space? Is it just to test my jumping capabilities? We are going to find the master of Lake Town and seek his help. <laughs> the men look a lot like the elves, except they've got their... Hair is blonde, but it's in the shape of, like, a cabbage head from Tits of the Hall. Who are you? Thorin, son of Thrain, son of Thror, king under the mountain. Take us to your master. Follow us. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a back elf. These are all prisoners. How did they escape? No lock may hinder the homecoming of the king. The hour spoken of is old as... The hour spoken of old is come. We will help you as we can. Please find food and rest here. Take what you need for your journey. The songs of old are sung. The mountain king returns and the dragon will be gone. Look, we have way more uh, female characters than Rankin Bass's Hobbit has. So, uh... Bilbo and the dwarves spent many days resting and recovering. Time to explore Lake Town. Have you a plenty to eat? Help yourself to any food you find. I like this jolly guy. No, I was trying to talk to your lady friend here. Have you met the great hunter Bod? Ooh, setting up Bard. That is the thing adaptations like to do, isn't it? Is, uh, have Bard appear early on. And I get it, it makes sense. Uh, it, it makes sense to have him not just come out of nowhere just to kill the dragon. So I can't get the food on the table. But all the food on the floor is all mine. A wonderful Lake Town hospitality. So many dogs. This is a very dog-heavy game. Those dogs are making me crazy. They never stop barking. I just want to sleep. Well, if only I had my music box. <laughs> they can't be killed by conventional weapons. The dwarves are very fond of you, Mr. Baggins. Well, that'll change as soon as I steal the Arkenstone. Those dwarves would be in trouble without you. Oh, you, you, you seem... Take this music box. I'm sure you will find a clever... Okay. <laughs> Why did I leave the music box behind if I was just... And all I got... For letting him get rest was meat. Seems like a long side quest for just meat. Is he awake now? Nope. He's got he's got a massive sleep debt to catch up on. I get it. Also, the elf seemed really chill about everything. Can't go up there. The most annoying thing about this game on a basic level is how it's sometimes hard to tell if something actually is a direction you can go or not. How long until you head to the mountain? Uh, good question. I'm just finding my way around, buddy. Also, I assume that take all the food you want applied to everyone in town and not just that one guy who looks like five other guys. Long ago, the dragon destroyed the town of Dale and stole our A button. Stole our gold. We'll be glad to be rid of him. Ooh, another human design. Well, a slightly different design. A different shirt and different hat. Birds like food, too. Good point. <laughs> And here's John Smith again. Test your jumping skills by jumping onto that platform. Doop. Stoop. Doop. 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 Life rune. Doop. 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 Yay. Already did, Cabbage Head. Ah, this looks like plot. Mr. Baggins, we've been waiting for you. Thorin values his family's famous Arkenstone over any other treasure. Laying down the plot points. The master of Lake Town has promised a ferryman to take us to the base of the Lonely Mountain. 
Did we actually see the master? Was the master one of the guys we've seen? Mr. Baggins, we've been waiting. Mr. Baggins, we've been waiting. I don't know, that was the same guy. The, the Greybeard isn't talking. The dwarves are very fond of you, Mr. Baggins. Oh, are you wingmanning me with this lady? Is that what's happening? Is this dwarf talking me up to this, to, 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 to this, uh, to this lake town lady? All right, now let's play burger time. Baggins time. Here, I'm gonna sit in Norm's seat. Sometimes you wanna go where there's one ring to rule them all. Can I not get over to those doors and find out what they're talking about? I cannot walk around a chair. Ah, Mr. Baggins. That's all just ah. Ah, Mr. Baggins. Ah, Bach. That's a slightly deep cut mash reference. The Arkham Stone is the first thing we'll look for once the dragon is gone. Why is it so hard to navigate these rays? I want to talk to the other dwarves. How do I tell you I'm ready to continue? Maybe I go outside and find the fairy man? Is that, is that what's next? Perhaps the fairy man can tell you more. <laughs> Have the dwarves gone already? Did they somehow run around me out the exit? <laughs> you are not wrong. <laughs> Even though it doesn't work as much with Lord of the Rings as it does with, um... With the Hobbit, I'm tempted to do, like, the Fraser logo, but make it Frodo, and instead of the Seattle skyline, have it be, like, the Baradour. <laughs> I feel like that would, uh, sell pretty well on T-Public. Norm is Bomber, of course, because, uh, they just got a Fat Shane Bomber. <laughs> Alright, that'll be this year's new piece of Tolkien Month merch. <laughs> I have to leave you here now. My planet needs me. <laughs> Look at that, just... <laughs> <laughs> That's just just that it does that creaking perhaps just creaking along. Let us head up the mountain. Up, oh, I see. I I I get. I guess we're heading up the mountain. Oh, I didn't count how many dwarves were on screen just now. I feel like it was um more than usual. Oh hey, we're back to there being like enemies and shit. It's been a while since I've had to actually fight something see how much they padded out the quest up the Lonely Mountain. Also, there's this little fucker. <laughs> yes, thank you for dropping loot on the side of a cliff. Very helpful, very helpful. The front gate of the mountain is up that path. Go see if there's any sign of the dragon. And the dragon. Is that the dragon? That blue bird of unfriendliness? Oh, Frogger. Hobbit Frogger. Okay, they have to be lined up exactly. Are these fish or like scimitars? Some sort of trap, some sort of uh, Last Crusade Penitent Man will pass trap. Press A when near trolls to pick fight. We got trolls again? Okay, hold on. Let me put the ring on and sneak. Uh, and the troll's gone. What is going on in this level? I feel like that was a glitch that put me in this room. I found some meat. Feels like there should be more than just some meat in Troll Town, in Troll Country. <laughs> Bilbo's other trolls. Bilbo dealt with a lot of trolls, but uh, only some of them made it into his journal. Only some of them made it into his book. They got a cave troll. They got 18 or 19 cave trolls. It's still less tedious than the troll level in the GameCube version. I got a bag of tokens. Bilbo, 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 bag of tokens. I'm just assuming that I'm supposed to both sneak and wear the ring around the trolls. Was that just a detour for, like, some troll treasure? I really thought when we got to, uh, Hobbit Frogger, Frog it, if you will, that that meant this was, like, where the next plot point would be happening, but, uh, maybe not. In the middle of the earth, in a land of the sire, a uh, that wandered around getting really tired. Let's see what's up that other path. I say knowing that I probably just actually missed where I was supposed to go within that cave and I was on the right track. I just missed the obvious exit or something. Okay, this looks like it could be plot. Oh, vines. I see. I didn't see the vines. That's that's how I have to get over here. What is that stench? Okay, this is where the dragon be. A stream of smoke that black must come from the belly of Smaug himself. I better tell Thorin. Smoke is pouring out of the entrance, and the place has a foul reek. Smaug must be inside. Curses. The front door is too dangerous. We must try our luck at the secret entrance. Why wasn't the secret entrance your first plan? 
Now we shall see if the words of Elrond are true. I don't know, that other dwarf kept saying never trust an elf, so... I like how there's always an indication of how many keys I have on the screen, even though so far there really haven't been that many scenarios where I need keys. I did not play that bug. Back in my day, smashing bugs with a rock was all you needed to do. Ooh, hey! <laughs> okay, well, that's as close as we're getting to tedious, uh, falling platforming here. Oh. I feel like we're getting somewhere plot-related. Okay, there's the dwarf. I have a feeling we're about to get into a cutscene. And let's save that for tomorrow's stream, which will be public on uh, on YouTube and Twitch, uh, where we will get a little farther in this game and see how far we get. I, I have a feeling we won't quite uh, close the game out tomorrow, but I think we're gonna do pretty well. We might get to the Battle of Five Armies. I don't know. It depends how much they pad things out.